evening, Ayanda, and thank you so much for joining us. Ayanda, it a must have evening. been diffi a difficult day for the family hearing the news of their son's passing, as we see in the following clip. What time did they hear about this and from whom? Well, absolutely. It was uh, indeed uh, a very difficult news uh, for the family. Unbelievable, to, uh, to say the least. Um, we heard from uh, Senzo's cousin, who was the designated family spokesperson, that it was uh, during the night that, in fact, they first got a call from a friend um, saying that Senzo had uh, been injured and uh, had been rushed uh, to hospital. And uh, later then, they then learned the news that uh, Senzo had uh, passed away. It's, in fact, it has really, really been a shock. Um, since this morning his family has really been unable um to come to terms with the Senzo's passing away. Um, in fact, and we arrived there uh, this morning, very sadly, his mother, who since the early hours of this morning has been crying um, uncontrollably, um, she was then rushed uh, off uh, to hospital to be uh, treated for trauma. Um, fortunately, uh, later on in the afternoon, she then was discharged from the hospital and returned uh, home um, in the early, in the morning, uh, during that morning hours. Uh, as family came in, uh, his sisters, his sister, his brothers, uh, you could just see as the media were waiting outside, uh, didn't have really much time uh, to speak to them. Um, they were crying uh, inconsolably um, inside uh, the house from we were uh, looking through. And uh, I tell you, it has really, really been a difficult, difficult day, really, really difficult for the family to accept. Um, as you heard from that clip, and in fact, for myself as a journalist, it was really one of the, the saddest interviews one has done in a very, very long time, when a father says he wishes that he was dead, when he said that Senzo was his life, he was uh, the uh, pillar of strength for the family, that their survival depended on him. Uh, Senzo was responsible for his entire family, his relatives, and uh, it went even beyond uh, Senzo's uh, family. It was his neighbors. Um, he took good care of them. Uh, we understood from an elderly woman that whenever he was there, he would go and buy her food and uh, arrive with uh, plastic bags. So families that were in need, uh, in his immediate neighbors, he was always there and willing to uh, lend a hand, always calling to check up on them and find out um, you know, how they were doing. So really, this has been an incredible, incredible loss uh, for uh, his family. Even small kids um, that uh, were neighbors, small kids, Kids, uh, who came from the primary school that uh, Senzo went to, who also then, uh, once they'd heard the news after school, they all made their way to Senzo's house. And you could just see even his small ch children saying that, uh, you know, this was shocking, that they looked up to Senzo, many of them saying they loved soccer and they were playing soccer. They started actually playing soccer just because the Senzo was uh, their idol. And uh, it was really, really, it has be, really been a sad, sad day, um, a very, very traumatic for the family. Now, Ayanda, the Premier of Guazul Natal, Senzo Mkunu, was scheduled to meet the family this afternoon. Has that meeting taken place and what did he say to them? Yes, the meeting did uh, take place uh, later this afternoon. Um, uh, uh, the Premier Senzo Mkunu was in accompanied by the entire cabinet of MECs here in the province of KwaZulu-Natal as well. Of course, uh, throughout the day, we were waiting uh, for uh, Dr. Ivan uh, Koza. He was also part of that delegation as well as uh, um, uh, Peggy Kele, uh, who is now Minister of um, Forestry and fisheries, um, that's his former national uh, police commissioner, um, and many ANC leaders, uh, um, uh, other uh, uh, sports, uh, uh, people who are in the sports uh, fraternity, um, as I said, various political parties, they were also accompanied. It was really, really a big delegation of dignitaries that came through. They then came to send their, uh, their condolences to the Mayua family, um, just to say that, of course, this has indeed been an incredible, incredible loss uh, for, the South, for South Africa, but more importantly, I think for KZN, Senzo is a local boy. Um, Senzo grew up, he was born in Mnumlazi, um, this is his home. So in as much as he had left Durban and he was living in Johannesburg, um, you know, he now belonged to South Africa. Um, he played for Orlando Pirates, you know, people, so many people probably not know, or forget that Senzo is a local boy. And I think to the Premier, this is an incredible loss uh, for the province of KwaZulu-Natal. And he went to relay uh, that 
wanted to with the family um, and to say that the government would do everything in this power to assist uh, the family in whatever uh, they needed. So the family, you know, the, uh, the premier, beg your pardon, was really taken aback. He said that it was a great shock um, to him as well. So that was literally uh, the message that uh, they had come and the condolences that come to bring to uh, Senzo's uh, family. Now, Ayanda, before we let you go, May, well, as you mentioned, was born and he grew up in Umlazi until joining Orlando Pirates as a junior player. Have you managed to get a chance to speak to any of his friends that he grew up with or people that he played with before he made the move from uh, Umlazi to Johannesburg? We spoke to a lot of uh, community, uh, you know, members um, in the area, a lot of youngsters uh, as well, um, not some who played with him directly, um, but uh, people who, uh, maybe I should also just mention that uh, Senzo had a tournament um, that every December when he was home, um, he would have a, a tournament where he'd bring together youngsters from across uh, Umlazi, and he sponsored that tournament. So it also brought in some of the friends and some of the elder guys who are living in his street and also in other parts of uh, Umlazi and they would then take part in the uh, tournament that he uh, sponsored so we were speaking to them and of course they said you know that uh, they had great plans uh, for uh, uh, this uh, tournament in fact he wanted to grow it uh, Senzo was very very keen on uh, sports development he was very very keen on young people um, uh, bringing young people to into sports um, and uh, they had actually had sat down just recently in fact and he was discussing pl uh, discussing plans um, their plans of how they want Wanted to take uh, that forward, how they wanted to assist youngsters uh, in the area. So basically saying that it's an incredible loss, even on that front, you know, that these young people every December looked forward to being part of this tournament and of course you know it was not just December they play throughout the year um, as with, they have kids they have uh, things like boots it takes these youngsters off uh, the street which is I think his main goal in bringing them together you know it was not just for them to become hopefully professional one day but his main aim was that he wanted to contribute to building uh, young people to taking out young people from the streets as we know Mlaz is just one of those townships of course where there is a high crime rate and drugs uh, etc so it was very important for him and we saw that we saw the sadness you know of these guys saying that uh, that was so important to him and really they're at a loss now at how you know basically what what will happen now what will happen to the tournament that Senzo had started and I presume that this is one of the things that they want to continue um, his legacy this is what Senzo has started and they cannot now let down these young people so I on their that. side it was really really sad for I them to to Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Unfortunately, we have run out of time. That was SABC reporter Ayanda Mklongo joining us live from Durban.